Hello, Lower Dolphin families and staff. I'm Rob Schultz, superintendent. The purpose of this communication is twofold, to discuss the change from the hybrid model to a full return for elementary students on November 23rd, and to discuss a temporary change in instructional model at the high school. First at the high school, we will be moving to remote instruction beginning Thursday, November 19th. The reason for this temporary change is due to the number of recent cases at the high school, as well as the number of individuals who are on quarantine. We plan to return to in-person instruction in the hybrid model at the high school on Tuesday, December 1st. I also wanna take time to talk with you about our plans for elementary students to fully return to in-person instruction on Monday, November 23rd. I know how challenging these decisions are for families and I do not take that lightly. As a district, we are only able to offer two models of instruction at a time at the elementary level. As you know, we've been operating in a hybrid model with a second option of e-learning during the first trimester. The decision was made to switch from hybrid to a full return for in-person instruction. And I've heard from parents who tell me the hybrid works for their child. And I've also heard from parents who share their child is suffering instructionally and that their child's social and emotional health is being impacted by missing so many days of in-person school this year. Since the start of the year, we've had three elementary students test positive. While the hybrid model has caused our, e our elementary students to miss 60% of face-to-face -face instruction compared with a full return. Second, we have seen other districts successfully implement the full return model, even in counties with substantial community transmission rates. A specific example is a nearby district in a county which has been in the substantial level for seven weeks. That district has been in a full return since the beginning of the year with over 80% of their students in attendance. That district has not had to close a school this year. Additionally, we have reallocated and added staff to increase the number of classrooms we have so we can increase the opportunities for elementary students to social distance. And we've been upfront that we will not be able to social distance in all of our classrooms, which is also the case at our middle school and high school. Unfortunately, during the pandemic, there is no perfect solution which will meet the needs of all of our elementary students and families. If you have concerns with your child returning to the elementary classroom full time, I encourage you to please discuss the e-learning option with your principal or Dr. Winner. Dr. Winner is the assistant to the superintendent for elementary and you can reach him via email at dwinner, W-I-N-N-E-R at ldsd.org. Thank you.